I haven't had that experience. The problem would be... Every day before I go into my lecture, I stand there for a moment and I say to myself, 30 years from now, one of those students may be president of the United States. What will I kick myself for forgetting to teach today? That's Richard Muller, a physicist at UC Berkeley. Nine years ago, he took over Physics 10, a class once taught by Edward Teller, father of the H-bomb, and changed the name from Physics for Poets to Physics for Future Presidents. In one semester, I can't teach all of physics. It's way too much. So the subjects cover everything from the physics of terrorism and counterterrorism, energy, space, nukes, and finally climate change. Last year, the class ranked best on campus in a student poll. It's important to Professor Muller that people, and presidents, future or not, aren't intimidated by science or scientists. Okay, big hand for our... I believe that if a person doesn't understand what a scientist is saying to them, it's not their fault. It's the fault of the scientist. He trusts his audience is smart, even when it comes to tough subjects like quantum physics. In fact, the quantum physics is at the heart of probably half of our high technology. Everything from the internet with its fiber optics communications to our computers to, uh, to our everyday devices like digital cameras. Uh, these are all based on quantum physics. Professor Muller's Physics for Future Presidents reaches not only the hundreds that sit in his class, but also thousands more through books, podcasts, and even YouTube. Why? To try to get out to a much larger group of people and give them the sense that they really can understand these issues. They can understand physics, they can understand high technology. So, has he reached President Obama? I don't know that uh, President Obama has read my book yet, but I do know that Michelle Obama did get a copy from a friend of mine, and she promised to give it to him, so I'm optimistic.